In my previous class, we have been studying the metals and non-metals, properties of metals and non-metals. There we have studied the sonority, but today we are going to study conductivity, melting point and boiling point and density. So, conductivity. Metals are good conductor of heat and electricity. Metals are good conductor of heat and electricity. Whereas non-metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity. Among the non-metals, except one non-metal called graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Now, when we say the word conductor, we mean that transferring of heat from one point to another point. Say for example, consider it a long rod. If you put it the long rod in the fire, after some time, the other end of the iron rod will become heat. So it means the heat is transferred from one point to another point. In the same way, when we put a metal in an electric socket, and if we switch on the electric socket, we will get shock. That means electric, electric charge get transferred from one point to another point. That is called conductor. Now melting point and boiling point. Metals have high melting point and boiling point. Whereas, whereas, whereas non-metals, non-metals have low, low melting point, low melting point and boiling point boiling point when we say about the melting point it means that conversion of a solid into liquid at a certain temperature conversion of a solid into liquid at a certain temperature that is called melting point and boiling point is a certain temperature at which a liquid is converted into gas. So, metals have high melting point and high boiling point. Density. The meaning of density is mass per unit volume. Substance, mass of a substance in an unit volume is called density. So, most of the metals have high densities than the non-metals. But lithium and sodium and potassium Lithium, sodium and potassium have lower densities than water. After the physical properties of metals, we are going to study the chemical properties of metals. Metals react with oxygen. Metals react with oxygen. When metal reacts with oxygen, metal reacts with oxygen to form oxides of the metal. For example, Sodium reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide. This sodium oxide is metal oxide. Another example we see here, magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide, MgO. This is magnesium oxide, metal oxide. These metal oxides, they react with water to form alkali. What is this alkali? Alkali are base which are soluble in water. Alkali are the base which are soluble in water. In the second properties of chemical, uh, chemical properties of metals, reactions with acid. Metal reacts with acid to form salt and liberate hydrogen gas. Salt and liberate hydrogen gas. Once again, I'll repeat. Metals reacts with acid to form salt and liberate liberate meaning is giving out it gives out hydrogen gas for example here metal plus acid gives you salt and hydrogen gas magnesium it reacts with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride salt and hydrogen gas zinc plus sulfuric acid h2so4 gives you salt zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas 
calcium plus nitric acid gives you calcium nitrate plus hydrogen gas. When we say here salt, many of you may be confusing what is the meaning of salt. Salt is nothing. Salt is a compound made up of basic radical, basic radical, radical, basic radical and acid radical. Salt does not mean that always whatever we eat that is called salt. It does not mean like that. But salt, we need to understand that salt meaning is a compound made up of basic radical and acid radical. So here are some acids given to you, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and etc. Many other acids are there, carbonic acids are there, acetic acids are there, we are not mentioning here, but for your comfortable, we are mentioning here, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and nitric acid. So some of the examples are given here. So magnesium, when it reacts with hydrochloric acid, it forms magnesium chloride salt. When we say magnesium chloride salt, Magnesium is the basic radical and chlorine is the acid radical. So when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid, zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas. So zinc is the basic radical and sulfate is the acid radical. Similarly for here also calcium when it reacts with nitric acid, calcium nitrate is formed. This is the basic radical, this is the acid radical. So salt is a compound made up of basic radical and acid radical. Now we are coming to the third chemical properties of metal that is metal reacts with water. How does water reacts with metal or how metal reacts with water? Metal reacts with water to form hydroxide or oxides of metal. Metal reacts with water to form hydroxide or oxides liberating hydrogen gas. So for example sodium reacts with water to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Potassium reacts with water to form potassium hydroxide or uh, N hydrogen gas. So it forms here hydroxide, metal hydroxide, metal hydroxide. But here zinc, it reacts with water to form zinc oxide. Here in this case, it does not form hydroxide. It forms oxides of metal. And here in this case, it forms hydroxide of metal, but liberating hydrogen gas in all the cases. Now, in this two reaction, heat is liberated, so it is called exothermic reaction. These two chemical reactions are called exothermic reactions because it liberates, it produces heat. So what is an exothermic reaction? A chemical reaction where heat is liberated. Exothermic reaction is a chemical reaction where heat is liberated. In the picture, in your book, you may see that sodium and potassium, when you put in the water, it liberates heat, fire coming out. So that is exothermic reaction. So dear students, we are almost coming to the end of the chapter. So I would like to request all of you, I would like to tell all of you, to complete all the questions and answers from your book and submit it to me as a homework on the next day. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe, do it for yourselves, do it for your family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home here, come here. Jai Hind.